Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more Starfield. This is Hill here with some more gameplay. All right, we have concluded our business here on Jemison and we are about to hit deep space and see what sort of trouble we can get into. Let's begin. All right, stand by for liftoff. Make your preparations. Initiating the door. system. Oh, that's right. I think we're headed to Mars. All right. Strap in back there. All right. We're going to grab jump. tell you these controls all right so Sidonia is gonna be our destination all right we're preparing to land let's go So if I remember correctly, Mars doesn't have a breathable atmosphere, but who knows, in this day and age, they might have terraformed it, but I'm going to put the suit on just in case. Unless we're picking up parts at Deimos or digging oh, no. for minerals, I hope you have a good one. Reason for landing here. All right. Almost died right here. Environmental damage reduces my maximum health. Okay, 
so remove it and you can relax and breathe freely okay so I did take some health damage okay so Mars is just how I remember it Okay, so now we were told there were jobs. I will, should always oh, have my helmet. We have the tech to instantly jump across the universe. You think so? There's always something to do around here. Okay, just not not this way. Worker satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. that they have here. Destroy the Clim Crimson Fleet. Right. You're right. Screw this. I know you were counting on that Sidonian present day. Mining's fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously. I always do it Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. All right, here we go. All right, who is this back here? Excuse me, sir. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh, not here for a delivery, are you? I'm Captain Hill. I'm a vanguard. I need Percival Walker's help investigating a troubling discovery. Do you know? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for missing. some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... discipline issue. <laughs> I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point it's probably for the best. 
You don't sound particularly interested in finding him. That's correct. We're no longer interested in Dr. Walker's services. He did leave his post, however, with a sizable debt to his name. If you were to find him and get him to pay, the Trade Authority would be most grateful for it. Oh, I loathe the Trade Authority. Is it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? <laughs> well, I'm not your bill collector. Well, no, wait a minute. How much does he owe? Why? Feeling charitable? No. I'm I don't just recall curious. the exact figure off the top of my head, but with the interest it's accrued, I believe it's something substantial. Oh, that's the best so you can do. So if you do. were able to find him and convince him to clear his accounts, you would have our honest gratitude. Well, I'm not your bill collector. I just know, need to know how to find him. I couldn't have put that better myself. Oh. Pity. Uh, Glad you liked Perhaps that, Sarah. a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. If someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is, you'll find them there. Alright, well, I guess I can take the suit off then, too. Sarah, don't be shy. I guess I'll meet you downstairs. Do your part to keep Sidonia graffiti free. Broken Spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Devils? What are you talking about? The hell are you from? The Red Devils? Best fighters since the Spartans? This is our bar, so folks like you can go drink at the Spear. Hmm, easy now. I'm a vanguard. I heard you might know where Percival Walker is. Doc Walker? Yeah. Well, you're barking up the wrong... Andy, you. Why don't you come here and tell me what some vanguard captain wants with Walker? I'd be glad to. Stray topsider wanders into my bar asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What do you want with him? Hmm. Yeah, let's cut to the chase. Terramorphs might be threatening the galaxy, and I need Percival's help to stop them. What? Someone give him the keys to a battle cruiser? Look, you can make up whatever crazy oh, story you want. Oh, really? But you should forget about Percival. What do you. Hmm. Lives could be at stake here, sir. Just tell me where I can find him. Stop. Even if I did know where he was, I'm not telling some stray I don't know from a... Huh. Maybe there is something you can do. Oh, Percival's got really? this debt put on him by the Trade Another Authority. Debt. You make that go away, prove you're a friend of him and the rest of us devils, and... Well, I'm always inclined to help a friend. And how would you suggest I go about clearing Percival's name? Well, you're funny. Dude. Most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct. If you've got credits to throw away. I don't. Of course, 
Rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road we should travel. Hmm. Okay, I hear you, Sarah. So you and Percival were both Red Devils, can you tell me about them? Red Devils were the meanest marine unit the UC Navy ever had. Couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian Dusty. Made us tough. Reliable. It's why they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. No other unit could handle that pressure. Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. Science officer. Made sure the monsters behaved themselves around the devils. And didn't with everyone else. But it was those monsters that did us in. When the colony war ended and the armistice came down, Everything associated with Xeno weapons got shelved, Red Devils included. Now, ah, now they're just a memory. You work with Xeno weapons? Me? Nah, infantry officer. But my grunts deployed alongside the things. Never seen anything like it, before or since. Monsters from the darkest corners of the Black rampaging across the battlefield. And understand why they banned them. Brutal. Armistice hurt us more than most, but... Wow. Wasn't all bad that came out of that agreement. Alright, well, I'm not gonna get rid of the dead. I'm gonna listen to Sarah. So I think we've reached a dead end here. All right, Sarah, I think we have something else. All right, let's go and handle the uh, constellation business that we have here. That's, that's what I told you, killing two birds with one stone coming here. Side. Word of advice, don't mess with the details. Okay, Can't believe we're we still pulling up huge mineral deposits after all this time. This life ain't easy. Excuse me, we get a lot of new faces passing through here. something about some I heard about something called the Red Devils know anything about them only that I didn't care much for them getting disbanded years ago and I don't care much for the rumors are coming back someday that's it any local rumors plenty but if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. All right. I guess I can respect that. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking at my bar. All right, well... I'm looking for a vanguard named Mo Mora. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol, hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Wait, the Blackest Sea? You got another word for it? He means outer space. Ma'am. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, thank you, Sarah. Space isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble, or worse. Sounds about right, yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? Oh, here we go. I'll let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? So my companion can speak on my behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. Okay. All right, Sarah, go ahead. No, oh, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Hmm. Sarah, I'm... I'm becoming impressed with you. All right, he could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Hmm. Well, I, I hate to ask this question because of the answer that I might get, but what matters to you more, the money or Morba's life? Yeah, I'll get your point. I mean, we could be the only ones who could find him. Maybe. All right, I'll give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Hmm, so I guess we're headed to Venus. So... Sarah, what are your thoughts about this, uh, this other matter with the Dr. Walker? I'm kind of, I kind of on your side. I mean, I don't want to stoop to sneaking around and stealing stuff. Let's just go. Ever been to go to well, uniforms are way cool. Oh, let me go. not forget to put on the suit. Last thing I need is more damage. Now, let's test this out. Will my helmet be put on when I leave? Okay, that worked good. got your suit on. Isn't this nice how we have matching suits? Like we're part of the same organization. I like that. I do have my UC Vanguard armor, space suit, but for now, I'm gonna stick with Constellation. All right, so a trip to Venus. Not sure what we're gonna do about this Terramorph stuff, though. I need to move on. 
All right, stand by for liftoff. Make your preparations. Strap in. Initiating liftoff. zealots out here near Venus. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. Do you see Vanguard Mo Morai, whatever his name is, where do you see his ship? No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a Vanguard had flown by recently. Well, I doubt they know where our vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. Really? There's a UC what? satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Alright, so we need to get to that beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. Grab the data on that satellite and jump away. All right, to minimize the ship system power to avoid detection, systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except one or two bars in your engine and stay as far away from enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so you can activate it. All right, so... Powering everything down except for engines. Here we go. between space targets. Well, oh, the great serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Derun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. Well, this better work.
wonder what our chances would have been if we tried to attack them. I hear Varun has some really high-powered equipment and technology. Probably wouldn't end well for us. Three against one. I got... I don't think I was able to, uh deal with those odds when I was in the simulator. in range. What happened to Earth, anyway? Why did we leave it? Uh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Hmm. All right, well, let's see if Vanguard Moera is in that star yard. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. All right, most star stations and ships can be docked with allowing you to board them you will need to select the ship in your hud and then fly close enough to it so that the dock prompt appears all right well, let's get these lasers up
All right. Two steps in, and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Hmm, here's another body. See you. I still don't have any. Seriously. Shotgun now. What the? Hostiles incoming! Engaging target!
going to end you. All right, who else? See, we can't play nice around here. Isn't there another one here? Sarah, what's this here? Let's keep moving. incendiary bullets I have ever encountered.
I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. No, they're not. Oh, come on. You already... You got him? Is slate. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Almost daring the spaces to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. strengthen my ballistics.
Wow. Veterans Pirate Raiding Pack. It's probably expensive, but uh, I'm gonna leave it. to the ship. Let's go. Maybe we got it. So most hostile ships can be boarded. Once the ship's engines are down, you must fly close to the ship before you will be allowed to dock. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that Vanguard. 